Today we are going to be discussing a possible plot point regarding the final season of Peaky Blinders that perhaps some of you are unsure about or simply confused. That being, why did Tommy kick Finn out of the Shelby family? To first understand his eventual exile, we must understand exactly who Finn is and his interesting journey throughout seasons 1-6. to six. Finn has been a character present in Peaky Blinders from the very beginning. He is the youngest of the Shelby brothers and is often seen by the majority of the fanbase as immature and unable to be valuable member to the family. For the first three seasons he plays a minor role most often, being delegated to simply carry out tasks here and there for the Peaky Blinders. With his most pivotal moment arguably being within the first three seasons, the near death explosion of Tommy and his car when a hand grenade has been planted inside during season one. It is not until season 4 to which we actually get to see Finn develop more and become more inclined to enjoy the life he has chosen to lead, following the footsteps of his brothers. John's death in season 4 episode 1 propels Finn into his new role demanding higher responsibility. In the first family meeting back, Tommy allows Finn to sit at the table, metaphorically and physically taking John's place as the third brother with Arthur even having a nice bantering dialogue with him. This as well is the season in which Tommy begins to slowly induct and educate Finn on the life they lead. This is first done when Tommy talks to Finn about women and how everything in their world and the world in general, alluding to both the gangster life and ordinary working life, is genuinely done on the basis of monetary exchange. Something for something, never nothing for something. Finn seems to understand this, however unwillingly he wishes to, almost shattering a sense of his innocence, something all of us have experienced or will come to experience. The second instance which I can recall to which Finn is inducted by Tommy is in the final episode of season 4, when Arthur is presumed dead at the hands of the Italian Mafia. Tommy and his gang manage to capture one of these Italian men whom is seen on his knees praying to be rescued and saved. Tommy yells at Finn and instructs him to take the Italian's eyes for killing Arthur. To which Finn does, even letting out a smile after the action has been completed. As we come to later learn, this was purely a test to indoctrinate Finn and mature him into the violent life they lead. Tommy knew Arthur was indeed dead, so his words to Finn being along the lines of they killed your brother take his eyes, was purely used as a manipulative tactic to further Finn's ambitions and a role within the Peaky Blinders, cementing him as a valuable, integral member, and more importantly, a valuable brother. Furthermore, in Season 5, Finn is almost entirely a different person, arrogant, ambitious, immature, and more reckless than he's ever been. He is first introduced storming an Asian establishment with Aberama and Isaiah, to which he was instructed to stay out of specifically by Tommy. This shows us instantly that Finn is defying orders and is simply trying to please Tommy and his gang, as well as give himself a reputation, besides the annoying, immature younger brother. He then argues with Tommy and Arthur in the garrison, saying how he is the brother who Tommy never got around to. This is essentially true and Finn feels left out. At this early stage of the season, he seems to have been given more responsibility and a larger role in the team. Further into season 5, Finn meets a seemingly regular prostitute in his garrison office, whom turns out to actually be one of Brilliant Chang's gang members. Finn's immature nature and naivety regarding the situation allowed the woman to enter his office without being checked, and thus leading to the vulnerability of Tommy and Arthur. Essentially, Chang was using Finn's life as a bargaining chip, as the woman pulled out a gun as soon as she entered the office. Funnily enough, after the girl lets Finn go, he demonstrates further his naivety and immaturity, sprinting to the meeting place and attempting to shoot Chang right in the head, to which Tommy and Arthur are instantly disappointed, and pin him against the wall and educate him on what he should have done and how he should approach it next time. In the final episode, Finn's immaturity and ignorance is completely exposed when he reveals the plot to assassinate Mosley to Billy on the night of the assassination, to which Arthur had indirectly previously advised against. 
If you recall, Arthur told Finn that if he tells Billy family secrets, it's Billy's life that Finn is risking, essentially indicating that Billy will be killed if Finn tells him secret information. And as previously said, Finn ignores this completely, tells Billy and ultimately spoils the assassination attempt, indirectly killing Abarama, Barney, and as of season 6, even Polly. Finn's ignorance deeply hurt and negatively impacted the Peaky Blinders, which could have also resulted in Tommy's attempted suicide. Finn could have literally killed Tommy all because of his big mouth. Then onto season 6, where quite frankly, Finn doesn't really do that much besides getting exiled in the end, uh, due to his betrayal. Let me break it down for you. Throughout the two episodes which Finn is in, he is seen to be almost a second in command after Isaiah, whom has taken on a much larger role. Finn can be seen in season 6 episode 6, physically becoming annoyed at the fact that Tommy is giving Isaiah more to do than him, a larger responsibility. However, this is due to Finn's own incompetence of course. Furthermore, he has almost become this laughing stock, great disappointment for Tommy and Arthur. This can be seen where Tommy mocks Finn about his wife's name and tells him to drink when he wants to, not when his wife tells him to. This all eventuates in the finale where Finn chooses to save Billy, even after being made aware that he is the traitor who killed Polly and the previous members who died on the night of Mosley's failed assassination attempt. Shooting at Duke, Tommy's new son, firing the gun twice, However, there was no bullet in the chamber due to Uncle Charlie and Tommy not trusting Finn to do the right thing. Almost planting this idea that Tommy did exactly have some sort of suspicion as to who betrayed him and leaked the information about Moses' assassination attempt. After this, Duke hits Finn and steals the gun, kicking Finn out of the family once and for all, by order of the Peaky Blinders. So why exactly did Tommy and his family come to the conclusion to literally exile his blood relative? Simply, the answer is because Finn constantly displayed his inability to follow orders, listen properly, and act maturely. Most of the bad things that happened in Season 5 were due to Finn's incompetence, such as Mosley's failed assassination attempt, as well as the vulnerability of the Shelbys with Brilliant Chang, etc., uh, inclusive of the opium deal. Tommy even verbally states his disappointment by stating that Finn never even bothered to learn their native Romany language. Furthermore, Finn's decision to leak the assassination plot directly led to the death of three vital Peaky Blinders members, with Aunt Polly and Abarama being the most crucial killed as a consequence of Finn blurting info to Billy, displaying his naivety in regards to who he can trust. After all, Billy was bullied into joining the Peaky Blinders, it was only common sense that he would probably wouldn't have the gang's best interests at heart. Thus, with these constant lapses of judgement, Tommy was contemplating how he could delegate the most unimportant tasks to Finn to avoid him screwing anything else up. Furthermore, his option whether or not to kill Billy was probably Tommy's final test for Finn to see if he would choose his family or a friend. A traitor. In the end, Finn chose his traitorous friend over his family, perhaps due to multiple reasons, maybe he was his first true friend Finn had, maybe he showed Finn the respect he was so wishing for, etc. However, this manipulation on behalf of Billy got the better of Finn and won him over, thus showing the extent Finn would go to protect Billy. Obviously, with this final betrayal, it was the last straw for Finn and he was subsequently kicked from the family. Tommy and his family simply couldn't put up with Finn's incompetence and naivety and basically straight up betrayal in the end. So yeah, that is why Tommy kicked Finn out of the Peaky Blinders. It is pretty self-explanatory if I'm honest, but I do often see this question asked a lot uh, across YouTube, Reddit, even on Twitter I've seen it. So I thought I'd give my best shot at answering it. Simply, Finn was never a good fit for the Shelby family. Not many in the new generation actually were, besides Isaiah if I'm honest. However, Finn can't solely be blamed. He was left out for a majority of the first few seasons activities, and like Ada said, he was simply trying to prove himself. He was simply trying to prove to himself and others 
that he was just as capable as Tommy and the other Peaky Blinders members. Finn is a victim of his life choice. Tommy does try to do the best thing to provide Finn with a legitimate opportunity to be professional and conduct a greater, higher level of business, which ultimately Finn refused, and which in the end led to his eventual exile. It is really quite a sad story. Nonetheless, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I've been planning to do a few more of these videos which are based off scripts. Uh, if you're still around, I'd like you to leave a comment in the description saying if you would prefer me to actually try and do a video without a script where it's more conversational. So I wouldn't really be reading from anything, I'd just be reading off the top of my head and the format would be much more conversation-like. So I would maybe be having a few more pauses, a bit stuttering here and there, uh, but I'd be a bit more dynamic and I'd be perhaps feeling less like I'm reading off a script and I'd be more talking to you as if it's a normal conversation. So let me know what you prefer if you would like to try and see one video with me out using a script or if you'd like me to continue using scripts. I don't mind and it's whatever you guys would prefer. However, with all that being said, I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are.